Well, hello everyone. It is I, Mr. Brett. It is now mid-April. We are a few weeks already into spring. I know this week really hasn't looked and felt a whole lot like spring, but there are definitely things happening outside that say otherwise. I mean, it is, you know, starting to warm up and the frogs are calling and what? Are you not going to introduce me? What? They can see that you're right here. I, why do I... Oh, I, I see. Just go ahead. It's Mr. Brett and then that f fuzzy thing next to him. You know what? Okay, fine. I, I apologize. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is my friend Fox. That was better. All right, proceed. All right, so we're out here by this wetland and I've been listening for a certain bird call. Wait, wait. When we were out here earlier, I heard the chick brr, chick brr. Uh, that I think is the one I'm looking for. It's from the Red Wing blackbird um now it is the male red wing blackbird that is the boys right yes that's the boys all right good to know uh, proceed uh so they have been back now for about i don't know a month month and a half where did they go uh, they left they migrated like a lot of birds do they're primarily an insect eater and so they in the fall leave and they come back now well if the boys are back in town what about the girls back in town come on what they okay so the boys show up first and they pick out spots in the wetland and they start building nests and they start practicing their call so when the females arrive which has been happening now over the last week or so they can start advertising that hey here's a great spot you should come over i've got a nest we can lay eggs here mr brett why don't they just pee on the ground like you know what not every animal does that we've been over this more than once all right, sorry, I, I, I will not have another outburst. Uh, all right, so yeah, so then they advertise to the females, and the females lay eggs, and it's amazing. These nests that are in here, you can't even see them. They're so well camouflaged. But they are just one of many birds that are finding mates, building nests, and already laying eggs here in the Twin Cities metro area. Uh, if you happen to have a nest in your yard, definitely let it be. Um, stand back from afar and watch. It's always kind of neat to see the, how they build them. And then, of course, the little one's coming out of there eventually. Uh, I guess for now, that's about it. That wraps up our time here together. Wait, wait. So what you're saying is that not always do birds of a feather flock together. Was terrible <laughs> you know what all right until next time take care and we'll see you later